a compiler? Why do we exactly need a compiler? How does the compilation process happen in C programming? Well, let's try to find out answers to all of these questions in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Linked Frequency and I'm Aishwarya Patta. This video is part of our course that is C programming for Absolute Beginners 2022. Without any further delay, let's get started. C is a mid-level language. The source code is written using any of the editors of the programmer's choice and then it has to be compiled into a machine code. It takes a compiler to translate or to compile the source code which is written in high-level language into a set of machine language instructions which can be understood by the computer. Hence, a compiler is a tool which has the ability to read the source code and then translate it into a machine code. We need a compiler because the computers cannot understand the source code directly. Source codes are in human readable format which the system fails to understand. Systems can only understand or has the capacity to understand only the object level code. So, a compiler acts as an intermediate between the human readable format and machine readable format. In short, you can remember this as compiler converts C code into an executable machine code. There are four phases involved in the compilation process. Preprocessing, compilation, assembly and linking. Let us understand this with an example. Consider we have a source code with the extension filename.c. Firstly, removal of comments is considered in the code. So, in the generated file, there are no comments visible. Secondly, source code inclusion. Consider a header file that is hash include stdio.h. It looks for stdio.h file and then copies the content of the file directly into the source program itself. Lastly, macro expansion. If we have a macro, hash define max file, then before the compilation starts, the preprocessor will replace the max with the value 5 throughout the program. Now, the preprocessed output is stored in the form filename.i. Compilation This is the second process or the phase in the compilation process. It takes the output from the preprocessor that is filename.i and then generates it into an assembly code that is filename.yes. Assembly this is the third phase of compilation. The assembler converts the assembly code into pure binary or machine code, which involves zeros and ones. It is also called as object code. The output is stored in the form of filename.o. Linking. This is the final phase of our compilation process. The main function of linking is to fuse the object code from library files with the object code of our program. The purpose of linking is to get program into its final form for execution on our computer. The output of this is stored in the form of filename.exe, which is also used for our execution purpose. So these were the four phases involved in our compilation process. If there are any queries, then you can surely comment below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you could enjoy the video content. Consider subscribing to our channel Linked Frequency and also share our videos across all your connections. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.